Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Abigail or Abby. Tanchi Abigail Dishnikashun in Southern Michif. We're sticking with that one again today. I am 25 and autistic and love talking about autism stuff, so this is where I do that. And yes, we are back in the piano corner again today. So today is day three of the 30 Days of Autism Acceptance Prompts. This year I collaborated with Audi Jake to make them. Today's prompt is how do you feel about dating romantic relationships? Have you dated in the past? Are you currently in a relationship? Do you eventually want one? Do you feel that your experience of autism stereotypes around autism and relationships impacts this? I mentioned in the intro video and in other past videos that I am queer, panromantic asexual, so romantic attraction yes, sexual attraction no, gender no thanks, just autism. As also mentioned, I am in a relationship. My boyfriend and I have been together for about two and a half years now. Our anniversary is in October. I adore him. He is holistic, although there are a few traits that we share well enough that he can understand some of what I deal with being autistic. He is extremely supportive of me. He doesn't always understand things, but he's putting in the effort to learn and try to understand, and he really is just amazing. He does a lot to help me take care of myself. I honestly don't know what I would do without him. So yeah, based on that, you can probably tell that I'm down for dating and romantic relationships. I did go back and forth on that for a bit for a few years trying to figure it out though. Uh, figuring out that I'm panromantic asexual was not easy for a while. I wasn't sure if I was also aromantic. I have dated other people in the past, some experiences better than others. Some autistic like me, some not. The majority of that was before I knew that I'm autistic. My current boyfriend is the only one who's known that I'm autistic from the beginning we met after I received my diagnosis. Dating is a lot easier knowing that I'm autistic. Before in past experiences, especially before I knew I was ace, it was a huge challenge. I do not pick up well on social cues, especially ones related to dating because also ace. <laughs> Uh, I need people to be direct. This has gotten me into trouble before, back when I had just figured out that I'm asexual and before I found out I'm autistic. I won't get into that situation now, but uh, not picking up on social cues, being overly trusting, uh, I'll just say that I learned the hard way on that to be a bit more careful. Now that I know I'm autistic, it is definitely easier for me to keep that in check, and the worst that comes from the overly trusting and not picking up on social cues is my boyfriend is able to mess with me easily and we both have a good laugh over that after and it's cute. <laughs> Definitely a good upgrade. There are of course still challenges, which is true for any relationship regardless of neurotype, though in my case they are all obviously related to being autistic. Food being one example, my boyfriend loves cooking. Food is a major sensory trigger for me because flavor, texture, smell, all of that fun stuff, but we are learning and working on things together and Honestly, there are times when I think he knows me better than I know myself. He is truly wonderful. I adore him. He's seen me at my worst with meltdowns and hasn't judged me for it. Instead, I just get love and understanding. I could probably go on about how wonderful he is for hours. There, there have absolutely been times in the past where I thought I would be better off staying single forever because I'm an absolute mess of a person, but since learning that I'm autistic and figuring out coping skills and reframing how I see myself, that has absolutely changed, which kind of stating the obvious because I've been in a relationship for two and a half years, but he also absolutely brings out the best in me. I feel like I'm allowed to be immature with him, which is weird because growing up feeling like there was something wrong with me, I overcompensated by trying to always be the good child and be extra mature. And now I'm in my mid-twenties feeling like I'm allowed to be weird and immature and goof off for the, the first time in my life. There are definitely ad additional challenges dating while autistic, but I think I found the right person for me, so it's working out. I'm happy I have barely stopped smiling this entire video. Um, it's definitely something that is different for everyone, and I have had some truly awful experiences, but also good ones. and currently going through a really great experience. So yeah, I think that's enough of me rambling about how I have the best boyfriend ever. So ending this here, thank you for watching and I will see you all again for tomorrow's prompt. Merci pour ton temps. Bye.